Hello guys, it's your boy, it's your boy Elric here, and we're gonna. This is a another episode of Let's Talk to. I don't know which episode of this is. It's probably three or four, but I'm not gonna remember. So I'm here with Chris. Hey, what's up? Um, introduce yourself, my special guest. Hi, my name's Chris, and I'm a YouTuber, and my uh, account is Chris DS93. Yeah, so um, she she does YouTube videos, and you guys should check her out. It's uh, her makes um, so let's gonna, I'm just gonna start this interview already because I'm really weird. <laughs> so, <clears throat> okay, let me just like okay okay okay, okay give, give me a moment. I'm sorry because I have my notebook, my notepad right here, my phone. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, um, I, I don't know if you can hear me. Just in case. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. No, you don't. You don't. Oh my god, we got a professional over here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ho, ho. All right, so, and let's start. Let's start the first question with your um, description, saying that um, you're pursuing a degree at SHCU. What is that, and a possible future job in publishing? Um, well, SHSU is the University of Texas Health System, and um, MCOM student is mass communication, which basically is I'm learning. Everything from TV to radio to um, publishing newspapers and books, and I'm gonna be going into that field instead of going to your like if you were going to land a job, it would be like uh, sitting behind a computer. I'm more of going into what people would call entertainment industry. Oh, okay. So you you wanna another question is. Are you planning to expand that entertainment to social media and hoping that, or you want to do it like for the news anchor is that or something? Uh, well, social media is always going to be used in whatever job I'm going to get because that's what's basically being used and what's being taught now is that social media has become so integrated into society that it's not it's no longer not an option to not use that platform um but i'm not going to be like a news anchor i'm more of like going into books or, or like other things <laughs> like tv <laughs> or radio possibly it's it's all um in the future kind of things and what job because it's a very hard uh, it's a very difficult industry to get into after you graduate and so it's like you're fighting to get into that industry and so that's what I'm basically preparing for right now that's really cool though like I like um I, I heard a lot of people want to become punishers and punishers stuff that sounds like a <laughs> marvel and <laughs> publishing things um however like what since you're considered to be publishing things would you ever consider to publish like your own um let's say book or something like that like something you created like a movie or something <laughs> Yeah, um, that's one of the one of the possibilities for publishing is real big possibility because um, I've been an avid reader from a very young age and I've been I've written things here and there and it's just like and it's a passion I have that it's just like I'm continuing to write even outside of going to school and it's just every time that I perfect that skill during school is just like yeah this is something i might want to do as a career that's great like it's really cool like um i always want to do publishing but like my grammar sucks so it's just <laughs> but um uh let's go to the next question and it's basically um the next question is what inspired you or what motivated you to do youtube in the first place okay so i'd had my channel as something else for a long time and it was just basically to be subscribed to other youtubers and um i grow i joined a group of the gamers on here i joined spaz and evan and everybody um when i was in my first or second year of college and it brought me into that group and they did videos long before I had joined and so I saw what they did and I was like that sounds interesting and I thought about it and I was like no I can't do that um that's not something I'm going to be able to be good at or be able to do during school and so 
I had put it off and I was like, no, I can't do this. And so when I posted the video about finally making a decision, um, that had taken a lot that I was like, you know what, I'm going to push myself because I'm not going to, I'm basically not going to um, just do a what if of, oh, what could have this have done, what could I have done to further my learning experience and part of it was like I want to learn how to do this and I want to basically be better about it and, and media that I'm going to into and so it's like you know what I'm going to start and I'm going to try because it was an option not an option I didn't want to take yeah that's really cool that's really, that's really awesome of you to, to do that the option is actually um do you, do you have um, any upload schedules or you just do it as a hobby or? Right now it's on the side because the most important thing for me is to be in school. It's uh, my full time job right now is school right now. It's a ho hobby and for YouTube and it might, I might get a schedule after I, um, graduate because I'm still gonna have to get a job outside of it because I don't know the future but I'd I'd want to continue YouTube maybe as a hobby and maybe I'd get a schedule yeah. and it's all in the future yeah I think it's like a lot, a lot of people not a lot of people realize this but like a lot of big YouTubers out there do this as a hobby and and something they don't have inconsistent uploads like take for example like idubs he doesn't have consistent uploads john Tron doesn't have consistent uploads because um they just do it for fun and um even though it's like major part of their like financial wise they just do it for fun and i i, I love the fact that you put in your career first which is great i love that uh, and a lot of, a lot of people would just like oh i'm just gonna fo mainly focus on youtube and it, what if it doesn't work out that's uh, oh no, <laughs> I'm not gonna take take that chance. I'm I'm a very re realistic person and yeah. it's just <laughs> logical. It's just like you know, people do get famous on YouTube, but it's probably gonna take me a while even to get a speck <laughs> in there. And <laughs> like, you know what? I'll work hard on it, but I'm gonna focus on what I've been pursuing for a few years for college, and then I'll finish up. And if I want to continue the hobby, then I will. Um, let's. I'm gonna ask a what if scenario. What if like you have like a major viewer audience that could help you financially? Would you quit your degree and stop starting for YouTube, or would you continue? I would like to continue with my degree because one is my whole family has been uh, has been going through degrees, and there's past that. Some haven't had the opportunity to have a degree, and it's just like after so long of going back and forth, and then finally finding that passion of what I wanted to do, and that it wasn't just going to be some piece of paper that I was that wasn't going to mean much to me. And then finding mass communication, it was just like I want to have that as the as kind of a um, another accomplishment, but it would be something that would help me in the future as well, because it's not just a piece of paper, it's something that I've learned and skilled to do. Yeah, that's really, that was really um, awesome of you. I could understand where you're coming from, because like, I'm going to be in college soon, and I'll probably be the first um, Vasquez, or the first, um, first, the first, the first of my family to ever graduate in general. And it, it's an accomplishment that I want to teach my kids. Like, let's say if I ever become big on YouTube, I wouldn't want to stop stu studying because I want to show that education is really important in general. Right. Like, and and I do get why people say, oh yeah, it, college isn't for anyone, but you should at least try. I try that. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. If you want to give it a try, you know, stuff like that. Um, right. Um, so, um, next question is, where did you... Um, I was gonna ask, like, <laughs> it, it's just kind of obvious, like, the obvious, obvious answer, but I'm really curious. Why, how did you get your name of Chris DS93? 
<laughs> yeah, that's a very obvious answer. I just, I hadn't come up with a name, really, and that was kind of the, what I used, like, part of my first name and my initials for my name and the year I was born in. <laughs> so, <Wow. laughs> it's, like, it's kind of, it's kind of not, you don't think about it at first, but it's just, like, Chris D.S., and it's just, like, I was like, oh, that could stand for, like, digital screen or something. Or, like, or like the Nintendo, um, Yeah, console the and Nintendo yeah. thing, and it's just, like, 93 is just, like, could be random number, and it's just, and it's just, like, well, this is what I'm going on. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> man, what the, what the heck? It's, like, 93. Oh, it's a year you're born in. Wow. And, like, a lot of people, like, a lot, if you see, like, Minecraft YouTubers or, like, a lot of people will be like, oh, um, Chris Diaz 420 Pussy Slayer, you know, stuff like that. But you actually, actually put Minnie in your name. <laughs> I thought it was just so random. I'm, I'm so glad I, I asked the question. <laughs> no, no, it's not okay. It was just like, that's just kind of how I'd gone off. I'd be called Chris, and then it was just like, my name is so long that it's just like, it's like shortening it to that. It was like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Um, next, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> next question, um, so, face reveal, um, I don't know, if, have you ever gotten from the like, comments below saying that, oh my god, you should do a face reveal, or have you ever had the urge to do a face reveal? Um, I haven't gotten any comments, because I'm a pretty small channel, and it's just like, um, most of the comments come from the group, and it's just like, that's kind of our, um, just like, criticism between each other, <laughs> like, or compliments at times, it's like, hey, you did, you uploaded, it's just like, yeah, I did, <laughs> and, um, but, uh, face reveal, I haven't considered it yet, because it's just like, you know, I'm, it's not like I'm trying to be mysterious or anything, it's just kind of a, kind of safety priority it's just like sometimes it's like there are places where it's just like I've had logs where I showed around but the, you don't see my face and it's just like well you can kind of see it through my point of view and then it's just like and I'm more of the behind the scenes kind of person yeah <laughs> so it's just like me showing my face or looking into a camera is awkward <laughs> I have. It would, I would be worked up too much with anxiety that it's just like, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't like, do this. It would just be like, I, it would just like, if I'd ever do a face reveal, I'd have to really not look at the camera. It'd be like, I'd look at everywhere else. So. Like, um, I remember when I done my face reveal, well, it wasn't really face reveal, I just, I just show my face mm -hmm. because out of general. But um, right. it, it's because the I do it because of vlogs. I, I wanted to do a face reveal, like like oh we got Ricky's gonna show his face and everything. But I realized it's kind of pointless because <laughs> it's like it doesn't. What? Sorry. Uh, it doesn't really matter about yeah. the face reveals. It was just like you know what? I'm just gonna not because I'm more comfortable behind the scenes than in front of a camera and so that's just my prerogative. Yeah like like for example uh, like um there's some random person went up to me and it was the first time I've ever like gone like oh, notice I guess you can say but it wasn't it was in my school so it doesn't really count. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Oh, you're that guy from uh, who makes videos." Right? I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm making videos." I'm like, "Oh, that's so cool, man!" I'm like, "That's it." I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> like, okay. And I was like, "I guess he knows how I look like. I guess he knows where I'm from. I guess he knows he's gonna stalk me, whatever he wants." <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah. A lot, there's a lot of scenarios where, like, there's a face review. A lot of people will do anything and any lengths to show, to do like to find your face, basically. Right. Well, my, I, I wouldn't be very hard to find, but it's just like, you know what, I'm just gonna stick behind the camera. Like, <laughs> it's like H2 Delirious. I don't know if you know that guy. I do. Okay, um, basically the only person who has seen his face is Cartoons. And mm. the only reason why is because Cartoons' girlfriend, I mean Cartoons' girlfriend, Gr Cartoons' sister is going out with H2 Delirious. 
So, okay. so Cartoons was the only guy from the group I've ever seen the face, honestly. Okay. Which is a fun fact, you know, we put that in a right, right corner, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next question. Where did you, um, the profile picture, um, did you, did you created it, or did someone else created it, or? Um, well, there is, who showed it to me? Um, Baz, maybe, it was the group, and we had, it was like this Ranmaru site, and it's just it's a creator of it, and so I created it, and so I was like, okay, I can use that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was that was all that was it. There was like no creative <laughs> that creative behind it. I just went to that site and then if I need to change the avatar I'll go to that site again and change it up. But I'm trying to draw and still but it's still I'm not that great. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I have some person that would actually help you with that, but uh, I need to contact him because it's been a while. Um, uh, he, he, he has created my profile pictures, not, not the Photoshop ones, like the animated ones. Right. But um, yeah, I think he could help, I could help you out with that after this interview, of course. <laughs> like, uh, Maybe. I, I'm, I might want to learn to do it on my own. I've uh -huh. been learning. It, it's another thing on my list of things like, okay, let me learn how to get better at this on my own. <laughs> All right. In my own style. <laughs> um, and... Another question is, um, have you ever, plan okay, yeah, you said that you're gonna, like, of course you're gonna uh, learn how to animate and, like, we'll draw and stuff like that. Um, how long had you had this profile picture? Uh, for a long time. <laughs> Are you planning to change it? <laughs> like, wink wonk? Um, maybe, I, it didn't really, really change that much, the only reason I changed it a little from the site was because I had my hair short for the longest time. So it, was like, it was long first and then it got short and I was like, well, there you go. <laughs> I'll just keep it here for now. Um, another question is, do you have any YouTubers who that you love, like your favorite YouTubers in general, of course? <laughs> um... Think walk me? <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> I like you. It's like you're not my all-time favorite. <laughs> okay, this interview is over. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Keep going. No. Um. Shit. I watch a lot of YouTubers, and so it's like, um, all-time favorites are like. I watch a lot of people. It's like there's not really one that I can totally think of and the only ones that are popping up are like the ones from the groups and it's just like if I list one of them I'm gonna have to list all of them because they're all pretty good because <laughs> it's just like hey so I heard you say this <laughs> just like no no they'd be cool they, they'd, they'd be like hey I heard you say this and hey, my poke and tease but then it'd be alright they'd be alright if you're like, hey, um, I heard you like spaz more than Evan. Evan, Evan. And you're like, no, no, you just a joke. And like, no, he's not a joke anymore. <laughs> but, um, what, like, do you have any? I'm um, sorry, you guys, about the nephew in the background. Um, it's just my nephew, but I'm still gonna do this interview because why not? <laughs> um, do you have any unique? Like, okay, um, I don't know you said yeah, you can't choose YouTubers, but which YouTuber has the most unique? set of style to do videos like a unique way um like you could you could probably like call it that it's its own way of doing videos because a lot of people have been trying to do the same thing like for example um pewdiepie um he does like me like trying to do meme view and then you hear a, a lot of people do them now a lot of people do meme views and a lot of people do la um try not to laugh challenge and stuff like that but there's gonna be some cases where like it's their own thing now and no one can take that away from them. What was the question again? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's uh, well, which YouTuber has a unique set of style that you love? Like, I have a unique way of showing videos. If you can't answer this, because I understand it's a little like a little all over the place, because I asked them to like a lot of YouTubers and they're like, oh. <laughs> 
famous? It could be one. famous or anyone. Um, okay, so fa most famous that I know, um, John Tron. Because oh. he has his own unique style and it's always going to be his style of doing things. And, like watching his videos. <laughs> John Tron, if you're watching this, probably yeah. which most likely you're not. Just know I love you. <laughs> we both love you. <laughs> Go back yeah, to um... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, he has his own thing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> At least okay, be a special um... guest. <laughs> <laughs> um not as famous but growing would be Spaz. Well, because I I've seen him grow from when I joined the group until now, and so it's like he has his own style that he does things, and so I I admire that about him. He's been kind of don't tell this to anyone, but, but um, he he's been like a real good um, kind of mentor and uh, not idol, but you know just someone to look up to to yeah. grow as a grow as a channel. Yeah, like, um, for example, um, when I met Spaz, I was literally scared the um, effing out of myself because I'm like, oh my god, you better not mess up, he's really cool and everything. <laughs> um, I, like, I would agree, Spaz has a really unique set of style. I love, I love him for that. Oh, um, oh yeah, you can just act normal around Spaz, he's just one. I hung out with him and a couple others, and so it's like, they're really cool and, um, weird at times and so it's like no you you can be fine it's like during the whole thing that i was with them and they were goofing off and everything and it's just like you must be so weird out. i was like no i'm all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that yeah that's weird like um probably in the next few years um you're gonna look back and be like wow i was really nervous and i looked up to him and we still we probably still do you know it's really cool like I, I know I have an idol too, uh, or like or someone to look up to, and but I call her idol, and she's like my friend. She helps. She was the one who taught me in tennis and how to be better, and inspired me and helped me, my mentor too. So um, I, I understand how that feels. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go to the next here. This question. Um, have you ever live stream? Like, I have tried. <laughs> it not gone well at times <laughs> and so it's like i'm still learning it's like i've gone to spaz so many times like hell <laughs> what is it what am i doing wrong <laughs> like i try to do like podcasts by myself but oh my god dude it's so complicated like yeah. that you need to have the right internet you have the right equipment and oh damn but i have learned um spaz would definitely help you for sure yeah, um, I, I know he would help, but it's just like, I want to learn um, by myself as well. It's kind of like, I ask for help if I'm really, like, stuck, but it's like, if I can, I try to learn it myself. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to be a bother. <laughs> it's just like, dang it, he's kind of like, stop, contact me over this, this is so <laughs> simple. But no, I don't think he would do that, but it's just like, I want to learn this myself. I can do it. Uh... <laughs> I can do it. I am my own man. <laughs> I'm a strong, independent woman. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like, um, okay, uh, next question. I, man, I had a really good question. Now I'm going to answer. I'm going to ask boring questions. <laughs> um, okay, so. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I kind of got off for a moment. <laughs> like, uh, okay. All right, so. Um, how did you and Spaz meet? Um, so, it, it kind of was like, I met Rio first, he, he's Rio Lux Gaming, um, and I met, this is how, how the story story goes of how I basically got into the group, it's like one day I was in Prop Fun, I met Rio, and we, I added him as a friend on Steam, and then at one day, he was like, hey, do you want to join this group? <laughs> okay. He was like, hey, do you want to go into the scary map? It's with, with me and uh, this guy called Spaz. And I was like, okay. And so then we did, like, the scary map for 
with spaz and that's how basically we met we met like my first time and that he was like oh yeah i'm recording this and so it's like oh okay so the first like scary map i did with him was like the first time i met him so like it's, it's on youtube right now right like the, the yeah whole... it's very old oh, but dude. yeah it's on spaz's channel <laughs> Uh, I'll leave the link to that, <laughs> like, so it's fast as channel. <laughs> um, Alright, um, have you ever considered doing other types, of, instead of, like, gaming, like, vlogging and doing interviews like me or podcasting and stuff like that? Like, types of videos? I've considered it at times. I have vlogged. They're sh very short, and it's, like, not super, <laughs> super long, and... That's kind of how it goes with me. It's like I only have those snippets of time to create those vlogs, and then it's just like, well, that's fine with me. <laughs> and interviews, um, not much of an interviewer, so it's just like, and it's like, um, I've considered it, but it's just like, you know what? When I started everything, I was like, you know what? Let me just start out with gaming because I've love gaming from a young age and vlogs because I'm not going to do this whole video log <laughs> vlog. I just want to do a small one. <laughs> like, um, like the, the reason why I stopped, like a, a lot of people stop gaming for that reason because um, it's dying, but I don't think it's really dying. If, if anything, it just shows like how um, loyal the followers are. Like for example, Markiplier and PewDiePie, like how they have lower followers, like Phil Franco Frank cool too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I understand um, that you want to do just gaming for now, for sure. Um, but is there a possibility that you might do more than gaming? If there's a pos if, if there's a possible chance, is there a possible chance? <laughs> more in gaming? Yeah, like instead of like gaming, you do vlogs, like. Um. I think it's just gonna be like back and forth for now. Right. It's just like I'm gonna do games. I'll try to vlog if at times if I think it's interesting enough. Because it's just like other times it's just like I go to school, I come back to the apartment, it's very boring. <laughs> it's just like no one wants to see that. It's just like I take a. It's like I would take a over a few days. Like go go outside, come back in, go outside, come back in, <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> just like yeah that's basically what i've been doing <laughs> um like comment and subscribe <laughs> and subscribe guys for gaming more content minecraft now <laughs> um no. so <laughs> um what's your favorite types of genre and movies in general um i like animation and action and drama kind of things and romance and all sorts of stuff but like a specific genre would be more anim I'm more anime kind of person <laughs> animation kind of pre person yeah like what's your do you have any favorite anime animation art style that you like um I like Miyazaki and I have a bunch of his movies. <laughs> like, I like his storytelling and the art, um, artists that have done for his music and for his movies. And it's just like, I like that kind of style. And, well, I like animation in general. <laughs> so it's like, any kind of animation, it's just like, whoa, look at this. This is cool. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, whoa. So I, I've heard what well, you told me that you're uh, you love books, right? Yep. Okay, what's your favorite novel? Um, it would have to be favorite would be um something called uh, Skullduggery Pleasant. What's it about? <laughs> it's it's a kind of horror mystery kind of book. And it's about a skeleton who's alive, and he's a detective, and he's very corny, and it's just like he has very, uh, very quick wit, and so it's like <laughs> I've been reading that series for a long time. It's 
I love the writer, I love his style, and so it's like, yeah. Oh, like, uh, my favorite book that will have to be, I have like three. Um, it's The Outsiders. Oh my god, I love The Outsiders book. And I love the movie too. Um, Shinra's List and what is this? The Therapy. And the therapy is basically about like this therapist who's like a, who has, who's trying to find the killer. And it's one of his patients. Ooh. Which is really cool. I really recommend you check that out if you guys love um, history. And what book do you recommend to, for the audience out there that to be first time readers? Um, there's a <laughs> looking at, quickly glancing over <laughs> to my bookshelf. <laughs> books. <laughs> I, I think um, I, I think my personal personal like personally I think the best starter is The Outsiders. It's like a great novel. I really love it. I'd say if you want to get into mystery and horror kind of and just like action adventure kind of thing do the first Skullduggery Pleasant book and it's just that that's what it's called or it's called Skullduggery Pleasant I think it's Plains Fire or that might be the second book but I don't know but it's by Derek Landy he's a he's an Irish um, writer and so yeah. oh yeah that's really cool um Speaking about gaming, what is your favorite game of all time? Link one. Um, Legend of Zelda. <laughs> oh my god, okay. You're gonna be freaking, you're gonna be freaked out, like F out when I tell you this. Okay, my sister is having another baby. And congrats to me, I'm having a niece, alright, alright, oh, calm down. Nah, <laughs> um, <laughs> even if you're not screaming right now, calm, calm down, audience, if I don't have, if I have audience out there. <laughs> um, uh, guess it's gonna be a girl, and the name is gonna be Zelda. Oh. Zelda, Rose, Shears, is the name. Oh my god, and, and it reminds me, like, I, not a lot of people know about this, but Robin Williams' daughter is named Zelda. Yeah, I know. I found that out when they did the, the commercial. Um, did the commercial about it, so. Yeah, which I was is like, oh, that's cool. Um, twenty eight. Okay, since twenty eighteen is gonna be ending, what's gonna be your revolution? Like, what's your goals to do in twenty nineteen? <laughs> I don't really do revolutions, but it's just mostly, um, uh, just do what I can. That's basically <laughs> it. Just like, do it. <laughs> just do school work. Try not to <laughs> try not to get too overwhelmed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, just usual, yeah, just usual stuff. <laughs> so. Um, uh, if I ever have to um ha have a goal, my goal is to at least get a thousand subscribers before like the year ends because I'm like a hundred a week, guys. Come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> But uh, I doesn't really care about numbers, but I did promise my fans that I would do the Pokemon theme song and I'll sing it. And it is, my name used to be Riachu and I changed to Elric. The reason, main reason why I changed names was because a lot of people couldn't spell it. <laughs> so I just put Elric because... Uh, and I'm, pl I'm planning to change it again, honestly. <laughs> because a lot of people call me Rocky or because... Um, they, they call me that in the in the Smash community, um, or Mr. Saturn because I love I love Mr. Saturn. I love him. I don't care what people. I don't care if he people say he's ugly. I think he's cute. Okay, <laughs> see that banner okay. in the background of my YouTube. You see that little guy. That's it. <laughs> um, but um, speaking about communities, what's the most in your opinion the most toxic community out there? Like, there's like the fur furries and. Minecraft. <laughs> um. I don't know what to call them. Um. They're basically. I guess. These. People who follow these YouTubers. 
and I think they started out as fans who who were just fans and then they just like oh this person can do no wrong and it's like they've turned into these cultists <laughs> and yeah. so it's like those kind of people I think those can be toxic because if someone even criticizes the person in any way then they they can get um, it can get rough for people and it's just like dude stop it <laughs> <laughs> Like, I understand that. There's this one um, community called uh, the Fear of Furries, which, like, I consider toxic. Because even the own community realized they're, they're, they're toxic. And there was this one-hour video about this guy explaining how some Fear of Furries people, like, will actually persuade you, be blackmail you, and stuff like that, just to do the things they want. Like, to do for sexual tendencies and sexual needs, basically. Anything they want. And it's kind of scary honestly because they could because there's a lot of them a lot of toxic communities out there right. <laughs> and i understand what you're trying to say about the, the fans and then you can't it's, it's yeah there's a lot and it's just like i try to keep up with that it's like <laughs> oh i can't do that you know what i'm gonna be on the nope train going out of the state and if i see something like that mostly what i do is if i see someone like say something it's just like not good and it's just like going no 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 <laughs> <laughs> then it's just like i have the urge to say something and be like please take this down <laughs> or something like that like it's just like like cleveland like oh no 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 and then... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah something like that something like that but it's just like <laughs> i stop and i turn away and it's just like i'm not getting involved <laughs> i'm not getting involved <laughs> Go turn away from the craziness and move on. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna just turn around and just <laughs> get away from this whole, whole, just, like, whole holy spirits. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Okay, the, the other question is, um, do you, do you have uh, do you have siblings? I do. All right, that's uh, that's all you need. I don't, you don't need to tell their names or anything <laughs> <laughs> because I could tell. Um, a lot of people could go crazy for it because you know honestly um there was this one time with my sister they just they just say oh my god i wouldn't call you ricky's brother tell them but like they, they they just don't stop I, I, won't say their name. I just um i'll just like name uh, well not name them but just like i have we're pretty close and so it's like i have two brothers and two sisters oh oh Wait, you have two brothers and two sisters. That's so lucky. I'm like, I'm the middle child, so <laughs> they forget about yeah, me. I'm, the, I'm, I'm four out of five. So. <laughs> um, dang, I was gonna ask a really good question. Man, God, it always flips away. Dang it. No, uh, like, oh, they just like, it just like in the back of my mind, like just takes it like my hand from the back of my mind. It's like I'm gonna take this good question away and just walk away slowly. <laughs> um, yeah, what's do you have any person? an idol that you really really look up to and then you were hoping that you'll meet um, hoping that I meet like an idol like you want to be that you look up to like well it's I actually don't know the person I kind of idolize in, in real life and so it's like well not kind of know I do know them and so it's like that's it's someone I hope to be like and so it's like okay I'll keep moving towards this person <laughs> um so it's like i i know i've met them already <laughs> that's good hmm. um okay. sorry but my nephew was scream like screaming and i was like oh, oh okay. sorry i couldn't hear you but i heard you like don't worry <laughs> like heard you. i thought i thought it was something with my mic but or like my headphones <laughs> like, okay so um Man, what time is it at your place, actually? Is it like... 12 a.m. Oh, okay, we're, we're, okay, we're both, we're both same. All right, guys. <laughs> um, do you have any, actually, like, any, like, sorry, any moral lesson to tell your fans if they have the chance to hear them? Or, like, moral lesson to people after? Um, moral lesson? 
I don't think I can give a moral <laughs> lesson because it's just like, like one of the most introverted kind of person <laughs> people. You would anxiety driven kind sorry. of people. <laughs> like, I it's like. I don't know if I'd be able to give a moral lesson to anyone. Just like, hey, do you have any advice? I'd be like, I'd be like, uh. <laughs> and I'd probably just go silent and we'd stare at each other for a couple minutes and I'd turn and walk away. <laughs> like Tina from Bob's Burger, like, uh. <laughs> like, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> um, well, okay, this is the question I was gonna ask. Are you ready for this? <laughs> ready. All right. What's the What's your biggest achievement? In life and in YouTube. In life? And YouTube. YouTube? Or YouTube. Um, okay, for YouTube, I know that. Um, I guess for YouTube is I've, <laughs> I've been posting videos <laughs> and I've gotten to like 80 subscribers. <laughs> And it's gone up and down, and it's just like, woo, achievement! <laughs> Anytime I see if my subscribers go up and down, it's like, yes! Yeah. Like, consistency, odds is best. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, but you should be really proud of that, honestly. A, a lot of people, not a lot of people could say, like, I have 80 subscribers all day. Like, there's 80 people who actually want to watch you, which is really cool. Right. Well, well it, it says 80 before, but, like, um, it goes up and Oh, okay. Um, what about... Okay, this is gonna be sound cliche and everything, but... What's your favorite chips? <laughs> chip, chips? Yeah. Um... Overall, it would be like... like to what? I couldn't hear the last part, the last word. <laughs> Tostitos. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, I thought you were gonna wait for, like, life goals. I was just like, oh, okay. I'd be like, I'd be like no, I'm not gonna shit. be like, you're white, you can't eat this. No, I'm not gonna say that, what the f- <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I will be, I'm glad that people try out, like, Mexican culture food and everything like that. Because they're the best. Literally the best. Like. Yeah. Basically German Hispanic. No, not basically. I'm German Hispanic, and so it's like, yeah, try Mexican food. Cause... Like, stripes, dude. Like, for us, the tacos, you can literally eat like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's like, it, it's it's not for breakfast, it's not for lunch, nor for dinner, it's for everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's for everything, you know. It's like tamales. You do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Tacos, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Beans, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Anything we eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> well, technically, my mom's Mexican. Well, Hispanic, Mexican, kind of. Oh, that's so you're Hispanic. Oh. Hispanic, Mexican from my mom's side. So, um, the, like the, well, like the definition of Hispanic is like, um, Mexican mothers and Mexican mothers. What the fuck am I talking about? Parents <laughs> raised your kids in Texas. So, technically, right. you are Hispanic. You're yeah. one of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, that's good. Now, 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 then, Evan and Chili and Spaz will not make fun of me anymore. <laughs> they'll ask you about the Trump and everything. <laughs> um, I think they've me. asked me before, but they, but I don't, I think they knew. I've told them before. It's just like, oh, I'm Hispanic. Oh. And they're like, okay. <laughs> Um, okay, let me ask a really weird question. It's not weird. It's more like what the fuck like it's out like not even the topic of YouTube What's your favorite president? I always I always want to ask this. I always ask my friends. What's their favorite president? <laughs> Man <laughs> Man like come on and I'm like like Amber and Lincoln the vampire slayer <laughs> <laughs> uh, Honestly, my favorite's FDR I love FDR. He got us out of the Great Depression. He could, if if he was alive, I'm pretty sure he would get out of my depression. <laughs> but, uh, he was a Texan falling through. He was through. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm gonna ask every like last couple of questions because you know we're almost done here. You know, like, okay. Um, all right. So we're at the mark. So, um, like I said, yeah, okay, we have. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just I'm looking through my phone. <laughs> like I have the questions <laughs> in my phone, 
And oh, I hate this. It's a, it's a, oh, okay. What about fair cartoon? There we go. <laughs> Uh, cartoons. I, like, I told you I like animation. Okay, 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 uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me make this easier then. Um, what's the cartoon that you grew up with and it attached to you and it taught you a lot of things? Let's see. I grew up watching Pokemon and Digimon. Digimon, Digimon Monsters, <laughs> Digimon Monsters. So, like, ser seriously, it's like every Saturday morning, me and my sister get up and they would sneak to the TV and go watch Pokemon and Digimon. <laughs> Dude, I love Pokemon and Digimon. Yeah. Man, Pokemon, I love them. You choose me and I choose you, Pokemon. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have, um, damn, I was, oh, damn, I had the question. Oh, I hate myself. I'm like, I should write this down next time. <laughs> like, yeah, um, maybe. And, what's your favorite holiday? I guess Christmas. I, I know it's a, it's a, like, um, I guess a... It's everyone's favorite. <laughs> favorite kind of thing, but it's just like, it's become kind of a favorite, because me and my siblings are all over, and so it's like we don't see each other a lot, and so at December, at times, we get, we've gotten to come together and see each other and have a good time, and um, it's been like that for this December for Christmas is my sisters came into town from Illinois um, with my nieces and nephews and get to see them for a while and then near um, uh, near Christmas my brother is gonna come from New Jersey and get to see him and hadn't seen him in a long time and so it's like that's kind of when most people get off and that it's like it becomes a good um it becomes a favorite holiday because i get to see all my family that it's like we don't always see each other but we get to see each other that's great like a, a lot of a lot of families out there like are going through a tough time but um what i think that about christmas it just brings people together and helps forget about the problems and you know just have fun honestly <laughs> Christmas is all about <laughs> in the presents, <laughs> but uh, um, I hate myself, but uh, <laughs> because I'm like I, I the questions. Um, I was gonna ask if you had a uh, had a time tr travel machine, right? You have a tra time machine, right? Uh, what's the thing that you wish you could have done in YouTube in the past? Yeah, like, wish you could have, like, doing videos, you're like, oh, I should have done this, should have done that. Do you have, like, any regrets of, like, you, you could have done? When I was younger and YouTube was, it was, like, it was a cool thing, and it's, like, there were creative people, and, but for the most part, I was around, I was in a, during, like, teenage years where it's, like, my parents would be like, yeah, you can post these stuff. It was like in a place where it's like I wasn't able to do much. And mm. so it was like I wouldn't have been able to record anything or I wouldn't have been able to um, record any games or whatnot. And it's like those came later on after I, I decided to work up to that. And so mm. it's like I can't really change anything during that <laughs> time for you. <laughs> um, what's your opinion about the YouTube system, honestly? Like, like what's like what other content creators have to go through, and because of the ads and how bad it is, and Logan Paul. <laughs> um, but well, Logan Paul is a whole other issue. <laughs> so it's like, so those are two questions. One is about Logan Paul, and the other is about <laughs> content creators. Um. Yeah. For content creators, it is hard, and I can see where they're coming from, and it is unfair, and it's just like watching from, having seen how it's changed over the years, from when it was just like, was just getting popular, to now it's fully popular, that it has changed, 
different things about what you can and can't do and advertising and everything and it's just like well it's their company I can understand the business aspect and I know it could hurt content creators <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle it's okay I'm, that's why I'm like I'm not keep, I'm keeping it as a hobby and not as a yeah. <laughs> And, um, Logan Paul, he's done some crazy things, and it's just like, I don't know. And there are other YouTubers like him, but it's just like, why are they still able to be on here yeah. <laughs> making videos? It's just like, I can list quite a few besides Logan Paul, or Jake Paul, or Bryce Gump, or whoever, um, whoever else is on there. That it's just like, it's like, why can they still make these videos? Yeah, and like, it's just like, yeah, I, I see your point that I can kind of see it's unfair because of this, the how YouTube, it's because you're cash grab. Like, I don't know, like, I guess kids really like them for some fucking reason, I don't know why, but <laughs> um, it, I guess they just keep them for business. YouTube's more mainly yeah. about business, but what I hate the fact is that YouTube is a more kit friendly thing. It, and, and it like a lot of people are like oh I want, I want to do my kind of thing and everything and it's yeah like you're right it's unfair um do you have more to say about it or that's i think it's because with youtube they kind of have their own thing and with the internet it's there there are rules that they have to follow you know legally in america and everything and in other countries they have to follow their laws and all that and it's just like for youtube it's just like they're doing the best they can i'm not defending their what they're doing but it's just like in a business and pol political way it's just like they're taking the punches as they can without fully going against people's right freedom of speech in america and everything well, yeah, and I understand what YouTube's trying to do is try and, well, I'll, like, I understand about the freedom of speech, but there, there has to be, like, certain limit to do it, because what if someone just sick, like, a lot of people bring this up, oh, what if someone just comes in and, oh, there's a bomb, and then, and we'll start leaving, <laughs> and it's not there, and, you know, I understand, like, I, there's pros and cons out of two, like, I got both, both, both ways. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a two-way street, and it's just, like, like, no one's perfect and I don't know what they're gonna do in the future it's just we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with YouTube well, well my, my nephew's crying <laughs> alright so uh, I guess we, this is a great way to end it oh my god did we do like more than an hour it's like, oh my god 53 minutes this is officially the longest interview I've ever done with someone that's really cool <laughs> um, do you have anything any last words to say to the viewers out there Whoever's watching, continue watching Ricky and smaller YouTube creators, Baz and Evan and everybody who's linked because they are working hard at getting content out and they do stream and everything and if you like stupid <laughs> games at times <laughs> and it's like and enjoy somewhat different comedy and, and I'd say go check it out and if you want to do YouTube as a hobby, I'd say go for it, because don't do it just for <laughs> for making a cash grab or something, because <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going there. I'm, I'm, well, to be honest, I kind of did a cash grab by doing that um, Buried Alive 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, like, I, I know what you were doing, so don't, I, don't I, worry about it. I want to do it for a good cause, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's just like, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I guess that'll be it for uh, now, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching this um, po uh, podcast. I was going to say podcast. Let's talk to the only where we interview YouTubers and streamers and probably Smash players and probably, ho ho hopefully, hopefully, celebrities. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and while subscribing. Um, I don't have an outro, I realize that. Um, if, if you subscribe, the baby will stop crying. There, that's a good outro. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright, bye.